In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through my exact step-by-step -step strategy to come up with design ideas for print-on-demand products and turn those into finished designs all using the power of AI. Let's do it. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching today. If you're brand new here, my name's Kerry and I wanna welcome you to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about how to use AI to not only come up with ideas, but then turn those ideas into finished artwork. This saves you a ton of time and it also saves you a ton of money and the possibilities are endless. If you're out there thinking, I don't understand AI or you're scared to use it because you think it's complex, I wanna let you know that I'm not the techiest of person and I found it really, really easy to use and I hope this video helps you learn how to use it in a very simple way for your print on demand business. So let's jump into my step-by-step -step strategy to come up with ideas and turn those into finished designs for print on demand. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a tool called ChatGPT to come up with ideas for our t-shirts or print on demand designs. If you're not familiar with ChatGPT, you basically just type in whatever you want and it will give you back what you're asking for. It will talk to you, it's like a chat bot. And a lot of people think it's going to replace Google. It's been taking the world by storm and it is incredible for so many uses outside of print on demand. But today, we're just gonna use it for design ideas. So what I'm gonna type in right here is I'm gonna say, give me 10 ideas for a t-shirt design combining cats and surfing. Okay, so we're gonna start here. We're gonna, we wanna combine the two niches of cats and surfing. We wanna figure out what we could put on a t-shirt that might create a really cool design. So let's type that in and see what it says. Every time I do this, my mind is blown. So look at what we've got here. It gave us 10 ideas. There are some really, really good ones. Specifically, I like the ones where it comes up with text. So this one that says, surfs up feline style, then it comes with riding the furry wave. That might be the winner for today. So an image of a cat catching a wave with the phrase riding the furry wave. I think that's really cool. We've got one here that says feline surfer dude. Another thing we could do if we wanted to here is we could say, give me 10 ideas for the text uh, for this design and see what it says. I'm already thinking that the actual art is going to be a cat riding a wave or maybe holding a surfboard or standing on a surfboard. So I just need some text to put around that. So we've got 10 ideas here. And what's cool about ChatGPT is we could continue asking it for more ideas, but we've got more than enough here to come up with a ton of designs. We got riding the wave with my cat, surfs up feline style, feline surfer dude, cats can surf too, furry friends on the wave. So my favorite are the perfect surfer, or the one we got up here, riding the furry wave. I think one of those is gonna be the winner, but that gives me two to kind of work with for this design. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to an Are you considering starting a Shopify print on demand store this year and you need some additional help and guidance getting everything set up and built out? If so, I wanna invite you to download my free Shopify store build cheat sheet over at shirtschool.com slash cheat sheet. This 13 step cheat sheet will walk you through the nuts and bolts of setting up your Shopify store. And it will also give you links to tools that I used and that I recommend that I think will be helpful to you as well. You can get it completely free over at shirtschool.com slash cheat sheet. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to an AI art generation tool called Mid Journey. Mid Journey is my absolute favorite art generation tool, especially for print on demand, because the artwork is like leaps and bounds above any other art generation tool that I've seen. If you're not familiar with Mid Journey, it works inside of Discord. It's very easy to get set up, but you do need a Discord account to start using it, and you need some very basic knowledge of how it works to actually start getting art out of it. But the art it generates is just mind blowing. Now it does give you some free generations when you sign up, but the plans start at like eight or $10 a month. So it's pretty inexpensive. That's what I've done is gone ahead and signed up for a paid account. So what we're going to do here is we're going to ask mid journey to create us some art of a cat riding a wave or a cat surfing. Let's see what we get. So in order to use mid journey, we're going to type in slash imagine that's going to give us the prompt. And what we're going to do here is we're going to just type in a cute cat, riding a wave surfing. And I'm gonna put in a couple other prompts here that help me get a better print on demand design. What I wanna do is I'm actually gonna try this with the style of pop art. I'm also gonna put sticker art. That might help us cut it out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna add in 8K and I'm gonna add in dash dash V 
Space 4. The 8K is gonna give us a really high quality generation and the V4 is just gonna use the newest version of Mid Journey's AI. Okay, so here's what we got. We got these four cats riding the waves. I think these are super duper cool. We could definitely use these, but I'm gonna try one more prompt just to see if we get a little bit different uh, style. This time I've just taken out the pop art term and I've put in cartoon and I just wanna see what it gives me for this. All right, so here's what we've got for our latest generation. These are pretty stinking awesome. And now I could continue playing with this if I wanted to. I could continue putting in terms. But another thing I can do is I can use these buttons right here to come up with more generations that are similar to one of these ones that I like. So I'm really digging this fourth one right here, but maybe I want a little different pose or just to change it up a little bit. So I can hit on V4 and it will actually give me four more versions of similar design. And just like that, I've got four more versions. I'm really digging this one down here in the bottom right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the U4 button, which is actually gonna upscale that specific art. And then I'll be able to download it and use it for my design. All right, now we've got our upscaled version. So all I need to do is open this in browser and then I can download this image. And what I'm gonna do next after I've downloaded it is I'm just gonna pop it into Canva to get the background removed and then we can start adding text to our design. So I've got a t-shirt canvas set up here in Canva. I'm gonna bring that picture of my cat in here. I'm gonna kinda get it sized up a little bit. I can always adjust this later, but I'm gonna make it bigger to start off. And then what I wanna do is I actually wanna click on edit image. Check out how cool this is. I'm gonna use the background remover inside Canva and it's gonna get this background removed and make this image ready for a t-shirt. So just like that, within just a couple seconds, I've got the background cut out using Canva. And so I, now I have this perfect image for my t-shirt. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna add some text. So I'm gonna go over here to the left, I'm gonna hit on the text button and I'm just gonna add a text box. Now I'm gonna add the text that I wanted, which is gonna be the, I'm gonna do all caps here, the per dash Perfect surfer. And we're gonna just put that up here at the top and we're gonna start customizing that. So within just a few minutes, I've entered my text, I made it curved, I picked my font. And one other thing that is really cool in Canva is it automatically detects the colors in your design. So when I went to do my text color, it already knows the colors that were in the cat design. And I could kind of change those to whatever color I like. I actually like that yellowy color a little bit better, but it actually just matched that from this. I got it all uh, formatted the way that I like it. I got it in the right places and I'm ready to download this thing. So I hit on file, I go to download. Within Canva on the pro plan, you can actually just click transparent background and then I can hit download. And then within just a few seconds, I'm gonna have my finished print on demand design all using AI. And you can check it out right here on my screen, the perfect surfer. I've got my art here. I could slap this right onto a t-shirt. I could slap it onto wall art, a mug, whatever I wanna do. Whatever product I wanna do, it's ready to roll. Let me know in the comments how you're gonna use these AI tools for your print on demand business. I'm pretty pumped up about it. Make sure you like this video. That helps us get this content out to more people that need to see it and need to learn. And also consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon to make sure you get notified when new videos release. See you soon.